is in chaos and our people are suffering. The deathless, those cursed immortal beings are winning their war against humanity, pushing us to the very brink of extinction. The morale of the people is down. Which means demand is up. The time has come for the next generation of the Infinity Blade line. Here, here, here. A thousand years ago, we revolutionized the industry with our original eye blade. We're finally combining the portability of a sword with the convenience of slaughtering your mortals into a single device. Then, then came the eye edge. For those people that wanted something a little slimmer. And then the eye dagger. And the eye cleaver. For the consumer who needed a little more compensating. <laughs> and finally we came full circle to the eye blade classic. Very retro, as the kids say. <laughs> we have consistently outperformed our nearest rival in Finisoft for nearly 4,000 quarters. <laughs> Stop, stop. And that success is owed to all of our employees, from Gretchen to Sir Frederick and to my son, Rob. Now the time has come for me to step down as CEO. Oh. To make room for this new blood that's going to lead us forward into this new era. We need someone bold, someone with big ideas. Someone who's not afraid to say, yeah, technically, we shouldn't be able to kill something we label as immortal, but damn it, I'm gonna do it anyway. And fortunately, we have that person. So congratulations to Adrian, yeah! new head of Eye Blade Inc. Adrian, oh, No hard feelings, right? made my decision, Russ. Yeah, but I'm your son. I mean, the iBlade business has been in the family bloodline for 196 generations. Dad, I mean, it's always gone to the next heir. Instead, you give it to Adrian? I mean, this is the guy who got suspended for charging winches to the company expense account. Oh, that was an honest mistake. He, he told us that he was trying to order mechanical winches for the drawbridge. You know, winches with an eye. And he made everything right in the end. And he only slept with half the merchandise before returning it. Yeah, but he did return it. Walk with me, son. You're right, Russ. Eyeblade is a family business. But only because everything from our people to our choice of wines flows from a family vision. The vision that you seem to lack. Why? Because I actually want to modernize the company, Dad? I mean, look around us. The moat, it adds half an hour to everyone's commute, okay? And the, the guillotines next to the photocopier, how many hands does Jerry have to lose before we make a change? And, and indoor plumbing, if we just install it, chambermaids are completely unnecessary. <clears throat> I, I am so sorry. I, I think you do an amazing job, and I know it's, I know it's tough, and thank you. Thank you. It's your eye blade concept, son. They're, they're stupid. All of these small modifications, like, like the eye bottle opener. 73% of our customers report having issues opening potions, Dad. Okay, like if we build that functionality into the blade. But people don't want bottle openers in their blades, Russ. They want blades in their blades. And don't even get me started on the eye chainsaw. 63% of deathless encounters occur in heavily You cannot scenarios. just slap a chainsaw anywhere you want to, Russ. I am sorry, son. But Adrian has had record sales the last six quarters. And I need someone like that. Someone who can step in and save the business if needed. And that's not you.
mean, I don't even care about the position. It'd just be nice for my dad to acknowledge my existence. I mean, he won't even put my picture on his desk, much less the company wall. I mean, how if you just gave me a chance? I know, I did the market research. There's a huge demand for your designs, man, but Adrian's just been posting some crazy numbers with the sales. It's like, I thought it was a mistake. I thought I thought they had missed a decimal point, but they hadn't missed a decimal point. He was actually doing that good. Ah, Adrian. But your, your designs are good too. Yeah, I mean, think about how much money we'd save on, on the modifications I've been telling you about, you know? I mean, case in point, the dragon. I mean, a toast driver would accomplish the same thing. But you can't, you can't ride it around. You kind of need something to ride around the office. It's a big office. It's cheaper. Yeah, yeah. and it's smaller. It's more yeah. compact. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just think everyone around here is just, I mean, ready to, for a more civilized workplace. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, man. I mean, me, me trying to run this place, it's like trying to fit a square elemental gym in a circular stat gym slot. Why does it matter if you're a square or a circle? You could be a triangle. You're still a magical jewel. And everyone loves magical jewels because they're so rare. How often do you see a magical jewel? Like, well, I guess you see them a lot, but the point I'm getting at is you're gonna get the opportunity to prove yourself. Thanks, Carol. I mean, what, what are Hey, uh, Kate, what's up? There's been an incident. Okay. So what's going on? We've got a mole. Oh, well, you should talk to Helen. Just got a number for a really good pipe piper. It's actually a nice guy. Okay. I think I have a coupon. That's for rats and children. I mean, a corporate mole. What? This data pad had all of our secret forging techniques on it. It was here this morning, and now it's gone. And I would bet my left ball and chain that Infinisoft is behind this. I put a hold on all the mail ravens, but if we don't get this culprit by the end of the workday, he walks out of here with all of our company secrets. Do you find it weird that we're still using mail ravens when we have computers and data? Russ, focus! If this blueprint leaks, it means rampant piracy, disrupted product launches. I mean, this entire company is in jeopardy. Okay, okay, so we have to find the mole, stop the leak, and save the company. All but 5 p.m.? And how are we gonna find the mole? We're gonna have to talk to someone who understands the CD underbelly of Highblade Incorporated. We have to talk to the worker of secrets.